What's going on HTO Army, Justin from HTO Plants. Today is another quick tip video and today we're talking trimming sword plants. So stay tuned to check it out. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button and enlisting in the H2O Army. Also hit the bell icon to make sure you join our elite notification squad. All right, guys, so I have a red ruben sword here that's actually been here for quite some time. As you can see, it's just ginormous. This came to me, it was a lot smaller when I first got it in. But there's a lot of leaves here that are just not looking good. For instance, we have this leaf here that's broken. Uh, you can see that these are the color of the leaves that they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be this red with this green kind of uh, vein that runs through the leaf. But a lot of these down by the base are, are green and just not looking good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our aquascaping scissors or any scissors you could use. Um, you could even just rip these off by hand, but you don't want to remove the plant from the water or uproot it when you do this in your aquarium. I removed it because this isn't rooted in an aquarium, this is in a pot, so it's easy for me to get to. So I'm just gonna start by trimming off the leaves at the base, and you wanna work your way around the outside because you don't wanna remove any of the center leaves really. Now you see when a leaf gets translucent like like this it's no good you want to remove that pretty much you're removing any growth that doesn't look like new growth and you could do this as early as two weeks once a uh, plant has been put in your aquarium and this is just really beneficial to the plant because it removes all these excess leaves it gives it new room to spread out new leaves and um, you know it makes it look a lot nicer and uh, kind of keeps the plant more compact as well uh, when you trim off leaves it teaches the plant hey you know time to grow maybe more compact or just uh, differently than it is growing currently so uh, take two there for one and we'll get another one there so and that's pretty much it as far as trimming swords just remove older outer leaves like this and that'll do your plant some good you can even remove uh, you see how this plant has a rip here in the leaf you can remove that as well uh, but what you never want to do is you never want to say remove the inner leaf here unless there's a really big problem like this one has some holes on its leaves right here and this is one of the innermost leaves I could remove that but I'm just gonna leave it for now and wait for the plant to grow out more before I remove any more of those older leaves but as you can see here the plant looks nice and cleaned up now. All those old green leaves are out of here and it's all these brown, nice looking leaves. Uh, brown and reddish looking leaves, I should say. And uh, that's about it. Trimming swords, pretty much, that's all you have to do with any sword. Just trim the outer leaves when they look like they're not doing too well, when they're getting yellowing, having any sort of melting or loss of uh, leaf matter. And uh, that'll also help your aquarium uh, be better as far as its parameters because all these dead leaves uh, that are melting are causing ammonia to go into your water. So depending on how much of this you have in your aquarium could raise your ammonia a bit. I mean, if it's one plant that you see one leaf melting, it's not gonna do a huge impact to your aquarium, but if you have a lot of them and that's going on and you're not cleaning, then you're going to experience that problem. So make sure you trim your swords. Don't remove them from the aquarium when you do so, just leave them and try and get as close to the root mass as you can. And that's about it, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. As always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what question you would like me to answer on a future quick tip video. It really helps out because I sometimes run out of ideas to do videos on and you guys give some good suggestions. So make sure you do that. Also, hit that like button, subscribe here if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. Let's go. Bet. Yo, once again, I'm back around. Uh, real shit back in style. Uh, haters reconcile. Uh, I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh,